Just a few months ago, it was pretty hard to build a complicated app with Vibe Coding. And as Claude code has gotten better and better, that's changed pretty dramatically to the point where I can build a pretty comprehensive, completely AI enabled CRM for our consulting company, which is what you see here in maybe 10 hours or so. There's more that I want to do to this, but I want to walk you through what's possible and then I'm going to show you how to do it. By the way, this video is for people who are super users of AI, so people who want to be using Claude Code. If you just want to build tools for your company as fast and easy as possible, definitely just use something like Replit. But if you want to take things as far as you can possibly take them right now with Vibe Coding, try this system. So just to show you what's what I've done here, this is all sample data. One thing that I was able to do with Claude Code is just tell it to create entirely mock data so that you're not looking at our actual financial information here. But it's got all the standard things that you would have in a CRM companies, contacts, uh, deal, Kanban. I've got activity associated with these deals, invoices, Invoices are attached to deals. I can add projections so it'll actually project out cash flow. We've got calls, reminders that have emails that come to us to remind us stuff. A really cool thing is I add agreements for every deal, and these agreements are analyzed by AI to pull out key terms, then populates other aspects of the CRM. There's a lot more that I want to do here, but We've also got invoice management. It sends the client's invoices, reminders. One really nice feature is I have it to where I can just directly import CSV statements from the bank and it categorizes all our expenses, manages cash flow. This is, we're not, we're definitely not going to use QuickBooks now and we'll just do it with this. We've got our contractor agreements all itemized here. We can send agreements with a DocuSign functionality to clients and contractors and get everything signed and stored in one place. And like I said, we have these great dashboards. So um, income and expenses historically, net income, and then projecting that out based on what's happened already obviously invoice management. So anyway, that's what you can do. It's pretty cool. Let me show you how I did it. By the way, I'm not going to go through details on how to accomplish all this stuff. I'm just going to give you the tools. And the reason is it doesn't make sense to go through that because everybody's system is different. You might be using a PC and using a Mac, or you might need to use some variant of the tool. So telling you how to install something is pointless. Just go to ChatGPT if you can't figure it out and ask that question. You know that, but I just see so many YouTube videos that spend a bunch of time on that. So anyway, I won't do it. First thing you need is Claude Code. I use the $200 max plan, but you might be able to get away with 100. You probably can't get away with the $20 version. Use Claude Code, figure out how to use it. You also have to learn GitHub basics. You can't really do this stuff without learning GitHub. It sounds scary. It's kind of a pain in the ass. You do have to actually just learn stuff, but this entire system is based on GitHub. And so you have to learn what pushes and pulls are and syncing and commits. You don't have to get down to the nitty gritty of like rebasing, although you'll eventually learn that. But just spend time watching some YouTube videos on GitHub and learn it because it's valuable for all of this stuff and will be into the future. So get, get, get Claude code. Also get Super Claude. Super Claude is a framework that you can tack on top of Claude code and it gives you a bunch of slash commands that help you move faster. So for instance, I jump over to Claude code here, I can do super Claude design, which will design system architecture and APIs or issue, which is a custom one that I created on top of super Claude that does issue management and GitHub. This will be more relevant here in a sec. This is a great framework that is potentially less relevant now that Claude has just come out with the big update on sub agents, which has some overlap with this. However, I find myself still using this, and it's also a nice layer to just build slash commands, whereas agents are more or less delegated automatically from the main thread. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. Use SuperCloud if you feel like it, but definitely learn about the new subagents feature that just came out. Find a YouTube video. Another tool that's really helpful is what you're looking at here, iTerm. iTerm is just a terminal alternative for Mac. If you're not using Mac, I'm sure there's something equivalent to PC. This sounds like a small thing, but part of what's unique about doing development with Claude Code is that you have a lot of free time in between runs. Sometimes when you issue a prompt, there will be five minutes until it's ready to do something else. And you can either look at Twitter or you can keep work. So it makes sense to do multiple projects at once sometimes. There's two ways that I do it. I always have two things going on and I either have two things within the same project or two different projects. Right now I'm working on two different projects, one for a client and some additions to our CRM. For each of those, I'm going to have two different windows. Open. And this dual window system is really important. One of these windows is where I'm actually 
executing and creating code. The other one is we're creating issues. We'll talk about issues here in a second. iTerm is really nice because it allows you to color code these. Again, seems like a small thing, but you really do lose your place if you don't have good organization of these terminals. So get iTerm, you have to set it to like a minimal setting or something. Talk to ChatGPT, it'll tell you how to color it. Now, all of this is about enabling one thing, and that's allowing you to use GitHub issues as an alternative to what Claude code will do natively, which is throw a bunch of markdown documentation into your code base. You can tell it to be organized and throw it into a docs folder, but it's still gonna be blowing up your code base and also your context windows with a bunch of stuff that gets old very quickly. The best way that I've seen to handle that, I haven't seen anybody else doing this, but I'm sure that somebody is, is to use the GitHub CLI. I find that the native Claude code Git integration just doesn't work. Maybe they'll figure that out soon. But just tell it to use the GitHub CLI to create issues and do that in one terminal. That's why I have two for each project. Do that in one terminal because that is non-destructive and it's non-editing. So you can analyze your code base. You can figure out what's going on with a bug or a feature that you want to implement and have a conversation with this and say, in my case, issue, create an issue that talks about a new automatic invoicing feature. And I could go on and on about what I wanted that to do. I could do that in my dumb human terms and it's gonna create a beautiful issue for that. Let me show you what I mean. So over here, I probably put in something like the paid date was required on issues and I don't want that. Create an issue for that. And it created all of this. The reason that's useful is I can go through and create a bunch of issues while Claude is actually coding a feature or fixing a bug. I might do a big list of issues and then Claude will make a really thoughtful issue with great analysis and recommendations that I can come back to at any point. So I can kind of like identify the problem and then forget about it. And then later when I have tokens to burn and it's not doing anything, I can tell it to go grab that issue by number. So I can say, go grab issue number 22 and implement it. Or if I want to get really fancy, I can say implement issues 22, 23, and 24 use the delegate flag, which will create separate sub agents to solve each of those issues. Meaning it'll do all of that. Each issue gets its own context window and then it'll report back when it's done in the main thread without blowing up the context window of the main thread. So this issue management through Git has been incredibly helpful to me. It'll do all your labeling, your types. It also makes it really easy to work with other people because you can create a bunch of issues and then pass them off. That's the main thing that I would take away from this. Okay, what else? Lightning round. A couple other things that I've found are really useful. One is something I mentioned in another video, aliases. When you're moving around terminal, it's really nice to be able to get places quickly and as you start using Claude code, you're gonna be in terminal a lot. So learn about aliases on Mac. I don't know what it's called on PC, but learn about aliases using GPT, which allow you to create commands like getting to virtual environments, running multiple scripts, navigating to your dev folder, and listing everything in reverse chronological order. You can do all that stuff with custom commands if you learn how to edit your zshrc file. Another useful tool is something called Pushover, which will allow you through either Claude Hooks or the iTerm webhooks, send yourself a push notification on your phone when Claude code finishes something. Another one I find really useful is desk in. I've tried a couple different remote desktop. This is just a basic remote desktop. It allows me to, using my phone, remote in to my Mac mini and continue vibe coding, which is really useful when you're traveling because a lot of this stuff is just telling it to, especially if you create a bunch of issues that are thoughtful, you can just keep this going and working on those issues and then go QA them later. So use this and I also use it even on my laptop sometimes because it's just easier to run everything from one system. But if you don't want to do that, there's one more thing called Chesmoi, I think is how it's pronounced, which allows you to essentially sync your dot files or the files that power your Claude commands, personas from Super Claude, all the new sub agents, that kind of stuff, and your Z SHRC file. All of those things require custom setup and you don't have to do that every time you switch computers, get a new computer, go from your laptop. You know, you're gonna be constantly making adjustments to these agents using Claude code itself. And so this will allow you to sync those up so that you don't have to think about it. You're always working with the same environment. Okay, that's it. Hope that wasn't too wordy. Thanks.